guess who's big mad that Dolly got an interview with um, Donwell? Big mad. Come on up and take a little link. Oh, you're going to join that love party? I think that I think you'd be probably a little interested in what Warren Betty has to say and probably what I have to say as well. And also remember, and I'll include um, clips, Molly and especially Betty. Betty was on this for maybe less than a month and already had the case figured out. And she was horrible. The things she was saying were horrible. $70,000. Um, we as a team were discussing possibly going to Tennessee to look at this case ourselves. But, you know, with uh, the Gabby uh, Petito, Brian Laundry case not quite wrapped up, and then us taking on Kylan Schulte and Crystal Turner, which is still not wrapped up and that is still unsolved and there's still a murderer on the loose. We have opted not to uh, get too heavily involved with Summer Wells once we realize that it could jeopardize our safety and well-being. Eye blinking pattern issues, but if he was not there at the time she disappeared, I think the mom knows exactly what happened. You know, needing of help, they have reached out to us uh, as a team collectively, as us individually, uh, to please help, you know, we had to come to Jesus, you know, whether we were going to do this or not because of the safety concerns, because of the, the violence of some of the people in that area, the backwoods, the, um, at any rate, we have decided to get involved. Um, These wells, you know, Candace as well as Dawn have violated animals too. It's not just the children, it's the animals too. So for example, they kicked a dog so hard that its guts kind of came out of its butt. I mean, I'm not, it's just, I don't know how to explain that. It's, it's not a funny matter at all, but it's kind of hard to explain that. That is animal cruelty. How can you kick a dog so hard that things fall out of places they're not supposed to fall out of? They were gonna cut a cat's leg off that was mauled by a dog. These are, you don't do that. You take these dogs to, uh, you know, to the vet. They killed that dog. They killed that dog. Are there? I don't know. That I don't know. So what, how else would they abuse dogs like up there? Like what were they doing? Well, I do know that they must have kicked one and the butt fell out or something. The butt fell out? Something like that. But I guess I think they killed him and threw him over the summer basement because uh, the kids would come back and say that the other dogs were trying to dig up the carcass or whatever. But they also had a cat. And um, and they wanted said, to cut the leg off like of a cat that got chewed up by one of the dogs, like, the one that got oh, killed. John Wells and Candace Wells and Grandis Wells have picked up the phone to call law enforcement to find out if there's any news, any new news in the disappearance of their baby girl. And I have to think probably not, probably not, probably not. And if they if they are, it's probably recent since I've been saying this over the last three days. Why aren't you pushing the case forward? Why aren't you up law enforcement's ass asking them what is going on with your precious baby girl? Why is it taking outsiders and people from Florida and people from Pennsylvania coming into the area to demand justice for this young young baby? Why does it take that? Where are the parents? Because they're pieces of garbage. The pieces of garbage. They abused these children. They had sex, drugs, alcohol, violence in this home. Summer was uh, whipped by her mom on multiple occasions in front of many people because all she wanted was a piece of candy when her brothers could have a piece of candy, but she couldn't. We wondered her why would, would a mom do that to her daughter, and then we find out that Candace didn't even want a baby girl. Tried to give her up for adoption to a beautiful family, but they got greedy and wanted money for her. And when they couldn't get the money, they decided to keep her. And then they decided they wanted to give her to Grandis. And Don said, no, I want to keep her for myself. Why, Don? You twisted sick fool, why? This baby had no chance. She had no chance.
this illusion that you even like kids is a farce. I said, we know you couldn't stand Summer. Oh, yeah. We started. We started. Tell them what you told her. Yeah, I said, I, I asked Dad. I said, why are you with her? I said, you know she was your precious little baby girl. We know that there may be some funny stuff. That was his prized possession. Summer was his prize. I'm mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I told her, I said, she took your prize away from you. Why aren't you beating the shit out of her? Or why aren't you leaving that her? Whenever the dogs were there at Summer Wells home to, to search for her with the six specific dogs, they didn't even have a toy to give the officers for that baby to pick up their scent, to pick up her scent and try to find her. Hey, my grandkids alcohol and did something to you. Who? Donnie. Donnie did something to your grandkids? What did Donnie do to your grandkids? When? These are perpetrators of many crimes upon children, many crimes upon animals, and many crimes upon the public. He was just as nervous to meet me as I was him. So we met in a restaurant, okay? Um, and I got a chance to sit down and talk to him, and he got a chance to clear a lot of things up with me that I was saying. And for that, I owe Mr. Wells an apology, and also Candace Bly an apology, okay? If I said something wrong about y'all guys, I'll let you know. As an adult, I realize when you say something wrong, take responsibility for it, apologize, move the hell on, okay? You make mistakes, you say things that are wrong, but if you fix your mistakes, try to correct it. And one thing that I said about them is this, and I feel bad about this, that they never look for their kid. Because Don Wells proved me so wrong on that. All right, he has plenty of videos. Right on his phone, he broke out his phone. He sat with me. And he just, it, he, it's like my brain is saying one thing, but my heart is saying something different. And it's really conflicted. So I sit there and go over with him. And there's gonna be some things we can't discuss right now because I gave some people my word. They've told me some things. I'm like, I ain't gonna say, I ain't gonna say that. Um, how many interviews and how much uh, stuff is Dolly gonna be putting out of Don one-on-one? -on -one? Is it gonna be like, well, I talked to Don and he said he never gave him an in-person interview or on-the-record interview. I just... What? Yeah, Don said he didn't get... That's what he told me. He said I didn't give Dolly an interview. Lie about that. Mm -mm. There's no way. That. Yeah, it's a huge risk when you lie about being... No, no, Dolly's not going to be lying about that. No way. He lies about a lot. That's not one of them. <laughs> no, you, you can't lie to yourself like that. No. Oh, crap. Oh, I was wrong and then you start thinking, you're like, oh, nee, 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 nee. have I ever felt bad for these people? No. I, 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 well, I swear I, that if it's that tactic, you know what he could do? He could communicate that with uh, other people. Because I'm telling you, where I'm sitting right now, my stomach is in knots. It's Aww. noxious. Poor thing. Don and Kevin have yeah. screwed up a lot. They mm. have screwed up so many times. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. They have screwed up so many times. They don't deserve to be talked about with any sort of compassion that we should look at them and, and feel, oh, aw, oh. These Christians, look at them. She's doing God's work. Betty has said that a gazillion times. It don't matter to me if, if Don and Candace are really cool with me or if they hate my guts. It don't stop me from searching. You see what I'm saying? Candace, being like, out the door and being mauled by dogs? Do we know? No fucking doors. Oh. No doors. No doors. No doors. No doors. No doors. Do people it could have been an accident. Well, did you fucking think to ask? Dolly. Don't start talking to the neighbors. Hey, will you go look through your property again? Please. Please just look through your problem. And say, hey, you know, I, I talked to him and, and, you know, he hasn't swayed my mind, you know, but here's what he said. I want to be genuine with this. He, that's one thing. I, I get that perspective. Of what, just I come out and say you feel sorry for him? I would not rise to that level. Oh, my God. Uh, like I'm, I'm not going to be at your job screaming and cussing and getting you fired or anything like that. I want answers for some. You don't think he's responsible to you, that you do think he's still responsible. Well, you know, no matter what, most of these people don't have a fucking clue. All they've done has been brainwashed the entire almost two years by assholes like you. And you don't know anything. And their family. And when you go through this family album, everybody looks happy as shit. Okay? They don't want, there ain't one kid in one photo that ever looks sad. There's videos of the kids flying in planes and shit. I was like, it's totally different than what I was expecting. This totally different, you know? And Here he was at the home. Obviously, I'm showing him photos, but where are the timestamps on those? And, and you know, when we talk about search parties, we can agree it's usually more than one person. Where are the timestamps? Do you think they were taken after she was missing? What's the hell kind of question? <laughs> oh my gosh, Betty, Betty, Betty. With a camera, okay. right? This is just, this is, this is, this 
disturbing because he's talking about there's doors on the house. Yeah, two years later. He's talking about the house looks cleaned up. Yeah, two years later. Mm-hmm. Um, Again. But to come out on his platform to be so reckless as to <laughs> give Don a free pass or start, you know, and he's, I, I, I'm just. I, he clearly said. This is just how he feels now. She's going on how he feels, not how you feel, Betty. I could have came up here and said anything I want, but I figured being real with people is the best way to be. So there you go. I was like, I just didn't get those vibes. I ain't saying my vibe meter can't never be broke. It could be, and I could be 100% completely wrong, and these people are monsters to the fullest. I don't know. All right, listen, he was never going to respond to you. This is what... Don likes. Don likes for people to stroke his ego. Okay? Don wants to is a dolly bitch. Molly, all you did was antagonize him. You talked to him on the phone a couple of times. You don't know him. Neither does Betty. You don't know Don's a talker. And he was absolutely crucified. You know, I remember one live you had. And you were talking to Don, and in the background, Candace was wailing, crying. And you couldn't even be bothered to notice. No one said a word about her heartbreaking cries in the background. You just went on with your nonsense like you always do. You don't know anything about them. I don't know anything about them. But if I sat with Don, I would probably... My intuition would probably kick in at some point. Money. Don wants money. Anyone that's going to stroke his cock. No, so- you know what? You offered him, by your own admission, $500 for an interview. And he told you no. That was your own admission. And he told you no. Him slow. Give him some slow neck. He's going he's gonna to go for it. That's what he likes. And Dolly fell right into that. And oh, he went, right, it's breaking my heart. I gotta be honest with you. This, this just turned my stomach. It made me sick to my freaking stomach. What? But the house really, really is not in bad shape. The house wasn't filthy. The house wasn't dirty. It. He had some pipes that froze, so he had ran some of the pipes where you could see them. But other than that, I was thinking you could build a little chase, put that in there, you wouldn't even see it. The house is in not that bad of shape. I was pretty surprised by that. We hear a lot of stuff that, you know, they're not the cleanest people. It wasn't bad at all. Not at all. Looked everything looked pretty well organized, you know. Um, so it was just a different vibe than really what I was expecting. Just truthfully, you know. So because he came to the internet for help, I think he really did, and he got destroyed. Just the internet tore these people apart, and I'm even responsible for that. Okay, me. Um, me. Oh, oh no, Miss Robin. Dolly has lost his dang, lost his god dang mind. Oh, Miss Robin's mad. Oh. I make people talk. I guarantee right now Summer's name is going to get the most attention it's had in two years with Molly Go Lightning on one channel and Dolly Vision on another. If the answers involved in people, then it is what it is. If it don't, think about what they've been through. Think about what they've been through. If the internet is wrong, if I'm wrong, right? Think about what they've been drugged through. It's it's a, it's a double-edged sword. And, and and I talked to Don about that. I was like, the internet can help you or the internet can destroy you. It can do a little bit of both. And everything that they put up to show their kid or how much they love their kid, Don said people would pick it apart.